Hey, this is Anastasia with Hump Day Happenings. Here currently in Pennsylvania, where as you can probably see around me, okay, it's Groundhog Day, and I can't see my shadow, but for some reason, a rodent did. That leaves you six more weeks of winter, and I apologize for that. I should have talked to him ahead of time. It's also my birthday, and uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a different Hump Day Happenings. Last week, I shared with you about dry mouth and my dad being in the hospital. This week, all I have to tell you is I'm grateful, truly thankful to have him here, and uh, he is home. He is ending his earthly journey. And there's two tips I wanna share with you about that. One is if you have the opportunity to take time to enjoy that time with that loved one, you can't get time back, and it's priceless. So if you can do that, I encourage you to do that. While you are, it's okay to grieve and realize you are gonna hit a roller coaster of emotions. It is way worse than PMS that you could ever experience. And the hard part of that is, is knowing that you grieve differently from somebody else. Just know that it's all right. And the fact that you've got family and friends, that support means so very much. So to all of you who have emailed me and texted me constantly where my family thinks it's attached to my hip and I have a problem, I thank you for that. Finally, it's okay to laugh and joke around that loved one. My dad has been appreciative. I actually don't cook as I shared with you. <laughs> and he told me to stay out of the kitchen because it was very terrifying with the cake. So I do wanna let you know the cake came out okay. Um, life is a party. And for my dad, he has finally accepted the invitation to another party. And it is okay and it's good to laugh. So I encourage you all just to join that cycle of life and enjoy the ride. Now you know what to do. Go to humpdayhappenings.com. Ask me an oral health related question. Until next Wednesday, take what you learn and make a difference with it.